Why, hello, Dark Souls, you dirty little slut. Welcome back, everybody. What a week it's been. Between digging a grave in my backyard and hanging out with a drifter I met behind a speedway in town, I haven't had any time to play this game. And some things of note, uh, I did a little bit of... Why did I try to parry an arrow? A bolt, I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh... I farmed a little, oh god, for the longsword, and uh, I leveled up quite a bit. Uh, well, not that much, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I wanted some more levels for Havel, and for some reason I got a wild hair up my ass to kind of try a Aragorn sort of man. Nice big man. Because we went with the whole hunter thing. So like the ranger, you know, long sword, short bow, something like that. I think Aragorn used a short bow. But anyway, that's, that's what I got. I didn't uh, leave this area, so all this will be fresh and new. And headshot. And headshot. Can't believe that worked. Uh, yeah, like, I was thinking about fighting Havel, because we're going to need that, that ring desperately. And the only way I can think to do that is going to be with... A little more levels and something aside from that shitty, shitty short sword. Which, actually, I was thinking about it. I watched the uh, Castlevania show on Netflix. And uh, Trevor in that show used like a whip and a short sword. And he had like throwing daggers and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, hey, maybe that would be something neat to do with that Dark Souls 3 LP. Is make a, uh, rebuild my guy and be like Trevor Belmont. Like have a short sword and like the whip and get everything all leveled up and nice and sexy and big and good and greased up. I think it would be fun. Because I don't think I can even do a a character or role play character like that in this game i mean i could but it's not gonna be good because dark souls one just isn't oh come on backstab now just isn't that type of game i mean you can obviously role play within the limitations of the game and stuff like it's not but what I want to do oh my god I got a pillow I'm sitting on is like a sharp edge that's just jamming me to the goddamn side I really should have kindled wait we can't and we're not fighting Havel yet. Should we? We should. And I suppose if this takes... Because this is going to take forever. I was debating on going to... Uh, waiting to fight him until I got to uh, Andre. So I could at least have like a plus one or something like that. And actually I want to... Uh, pull off those so I can fast roll which I still can't fast roll I guess we'll just get naked get naked and roll around with this guy yeah because it's not like our, I think our character's max health is significantly less than his 
strike that always ends up hitting us. Oh god, 56 damage. We're not doing this. I'll try it, and I'll fast forward through this, because it's probably going to take hours. Or not. <laughs> Stupid parry. Oh well, I'm... I've had too long of a day to... waste an hour trying to kill him when I technically don't need his ring right now. I mean, it would be extremely nice, but I think I could be far more productive by moving on and just coming back for him when we got a plus one. Whoa, last time he healed. Wholly unpredictable. Look at his stupid, that stupid arrow. Like, it's not even technically in his... No. Put the bow down. What button do I hit? God damn it. Here it comes, son. Coming to get you. Oh, and I bought the uh, bottomless box. Farmed a bunch of souls. Bought the bottomless box and the repair kit. The only thing I couldn't afford is the uh, uh, residence key. Which, Jesus Christ. And I did discover, not to, I just keep changing the subject. I did discover that I forgot to grab the old witch's ring as our starting gift. Like a moron. Oh my god, we're not losing that soft humanity. We are not doing that. So I'm probably going to have to like cheat engine it in or something. I mean, legitimately restart a character and come back to the exact same spot where I last left off with the old witch's ring. This is what I meant. I don't know what this cheat engine thing is. Never even heard of it. It's just a slippery slope because I ha I lack I lack self control when it comes to if I angrily like lose like say I have like twenty soft humanity or something and lose it. I don't know. If I have faith in myself to resist the urge to just get that shit back. No, naughty little Slim Jim. You're not allowed to feel good. Well, let's get our shit and go shove our head in the taint of the Taurus demon on the... Oh, wait, no, that's the... Uh, yeah, that's the Taurus demon. Shove our head right up his ass, nestle all up in there, and slap his thighs until they're as red as a fire engine. And then he'll give up. And then we can move forward. Oh. For some reason, I have a hunch this isn't going to go well. Don't know why. Wait a minute. There's a crystal lizard in here, isn't there? See, I'm not rolling through the barrels because it's my fetish. I'm legitimately looking for crystal lizards. I could have swore there was one in here somewhere. Oh. There he is. Gotcha, bitch. Should have probably leveled up with these souls, just in case we lose it. We should be fine. No! No! Oh my god. This is not... Oh 
the way daddy likes to play. just looks so neat like we were down there just a minute ago I think you can see firelink or not not firelink but actually you probably can we'll look later with our peepers and we are actually so high up we're above the clouds no I hear this music every time I masturbate. Yeah, buddy. Right in his taint. Look at that. Give me them thighs, son. Oh, that wasn't good. All right, we need to come back here, sweetie. Oh, God, that's a Plague of Gripes thing. I am so sorry. If it comes as a surprise, that's kind of where the inspiration for this LP came from. So naturally, I'm going to accidentally have some of his jokes slip into mine. Alright, come on. Un- there we go. God. I want to heal just to be safe. Come on, you bitch, run. Oh, that's so bad. Makes you want to throw up. No, it doesn't look like you can see Firelink from... Whoa, wait, what? I th just assumed he was dead. Give me them thighs. Let's get her head right up in there. Yeah, yeah. Die on me. Let your body go limp on my shoulders. <sighs> Jeez, only 3,000, huh? I feel, I feel confident enough that we can make that Hellkite Drake bridge. Well, not Drake, Hellkite Wyvern. I never really looked at that before. How neat. You can see him standing there. I always wondered with this game, actually, one second. If they're actually literally loaded. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, they're literally. Oh, damn it. Come on now. Nope, just got to go up a little bit higher. Yeah, they respond to. I mean, I'm sure you can shoot them from somewhere. I always just assumed they were just dead. Or not dead, but they weren't like, you couldn't interact with them. Oh, there's that sound again. What are we doing? The crystal lizard isn't in here. Stop it. No. Be a good boy. Stop it. Okay, that one's legitimate. Okay, we should, when we talk to our old buddy Solaire here, I think he has some, uh, special dialogue if we're not hollowed. So we should do that. Alright, come on. We're not gonna make it. Oh, we made it. From soft, you asshole. Alright, let's unlock this shortcut down here. 
How did he not kill, like, one guy? And we might as well level up while we're here. There. Hmm. Okay. Got all our main shit up to 16. So I want Vit, Endurance, Strength, and Dex all to like... Well, these two to 40 and probably Endurance and Strength to... Uh... Yeah, those, those are 40. These are going to be 50. Vitality and Endurance to 50. We should probably dump a little into these stats for now. Because I think we're good for the most part on the other ones for this area of the game. I've always wondered who goes around in RPGs and lights all the torches. It makes no sense. Actually, I think we might be able to... Uh, might as well get in there while we're at it. I'm gonna have to use our bow. I'm gonna have to contain him myself. Alright, it's go time. God damn it. No, we're dead. Literally no way this is gonna work out. Come on. Oh. Really? You're just gonna stand there? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought he was gonna blow fire in here. See ya, bitch. Don't come back. I wonder... Yeah, we should unlock this shortcut here cuz this will come in handy later Actually I want to I want to peruse the uh claymore I wonder if we I don't think oh we can use it Excellent uh, for some reason I thought it was like a 18 and something. Let's see, how do we... Oh yeah, we have to read shit from over here. This larger type greatsword is normally wielded with two hands due to its weight. This highly flexible greatsword can be used to attack in swings or thrusts. No... No neat, uh... stuff about it in this game. Actually, I think this is the sword that uh, an NPC we have yet to meet uses. And I wonder what this does to Havel, actually. Well, first, let's reverse our hollowing. Look at our sexy, bug-eyed, cocaine-addicted face. Eh, might as well use it for a while. Who cares? Oh, no. Oh. It <laughs> froze for a second. I was just assuming that the game crashed. Because when I... Good old Dark Souls, when I previously started this up, for the first time I attempted to record this, my... Your poise is gone, son. Oh, come on now. What? I feel like I had a thought that I didn't finish. Whatever. All right. Everybody's favorite overrated NPC. Ah, hello. 
You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own... Funny story, I'm sure. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. Never interrupt a hero. <laughs> all right. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Uh, sure. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. God, he looks so much like Dennis Reynolds Could that really from It's Always Sunny. So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yeah, yeah, sure. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. God damn it. Your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> There's almost a hope to his laugh that other people don't have. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think that's his dialogue exhausted. And now there is a way where we can see inside his helmet. And you can kind of get a look at what he looks like or at least what his model looks like I think his uh oh we're getting close gently gently now oh almost there oh god damn it Okay, we gotta... Almost... Come on. You know what? I think you can just... Whoa, hello. Come on, you magnificent bastard. Give daddy a kiss. Whoops. Just come on now. He's got some kind of jaw rot. He actually has a full face. I'll have to Google it to look it up. But I think his, uh, the basis of his, uh, <sighs> the character's, like, base thing is the Astora Noble. Paranoid of that goddamn wyvern coming back. And we'll go this way. No. Come on, if you're gonna do this. I'd really rather not. Come on, please, God, don't. I think they'll just dry, like, they'll just fire their crossbows into the... <laughs> They'll just fire their crossbows at me for the end of time. And then once I come go under them, they might stop, but it should be okay. Jesus. Good old Claymore. I'm surprised I can use this one-handed. Get. Oh, I tried to kick him, but it didn't work. And actually, oh, cool, an item. I am going with the long sword for these nasty, naughty little rats. Might as well health up while we're here. These guys is 
dumb as you think they are, like, I've died quite often to, like, their stupid poison. Because it builds up so quick. Like, one or two bites. No! I just said how I didn't want to do this. See? And then knock me off the motherfucking bridge. <laughs> oh, well. Now, with any luck, our souls will be, uh... Some place where we they're not precariously sitting somewhere where we'll never get them back. Oh god, where are they? Dragon's back. Then kick him off, please. No, didn't, not gonna work. Right, you know what? We're gonna be smart about this. And hit the wrong button like a... A good little boy that knows what he's doing. Let's try not to walk off the bridge. And some of you might be thinking, Oh, is he gonna get the... Uh... Jesus, what button is it, anyway? Hold on a second here. It's been so long. No. Okay, that button. Is he gonna get the, uh, Drake sword? No. Wait, I should, because... That's kind of... Got a little bit of lore to it if I recall, and it could help us out in a pinch. I wonder how that does against Havel, actually. That might negate our need to even have to... Oh, one thing at a time. We're coming up here. And we're gonna get the great, uh... Drake sword. Actually, what, what do we need to level up? I don't think we have enough points yet. Yeah. I'm gonna be here a while. Should, uh... Wait, where the... How the hell did we even get here? Hello, dregs. Am I not remembering right? This is the Sunlight Covenant, right? No, that's in here. This has always been such a weird place. I think the demo starts here, if I remember right. Can't we... Can't we interact with this somehow, or do we have to be... I forget, it's been so frickin' long. It's here. What is going on? But yeah, if you notice, that uh, spear right there is Ornstein's spear. Which is kind of odd. But Ornstein doesn't have foot wraps on his armor. So that kind of doesn't mean it's Ornstein. And if you look at the bracers and... Well, yeah, the head there, that's clearly not Ornstein. I wonder if that's, like, the... No, that's way too weird and fan theory. <sighs> Thinking <clears throat> it might be the, uh... The last... Well, we should probably go up here and see if we can't... Parry this guy. Into s sexual submission. You always start with that fucking move. Oh. 
Yep, flatten me like a... I remember him. No! Why are you here, exactly? Please move. Please, God, move. Jesus, why? Where did he even come from? Oh my god. Get down the stairs. He's scripted to charge and put his finger up your butt when you heal. Come on, big boy. Of course. That's just bullshit. And your scripted thing, yep, can't get away because it's... I love fighting in bread boxes. God, that's no good. Yes, you're gonna win, because your tracking is fucking insane. Yeah, look at him, so smug. Ugh. Unbelievable. That's actually one of my most hated fucking enemies, is that... that... guy right there. Actually, we need to grab... grab this here. And we'll quit beating around the bush and go get the, uh, Drake sword, get Havel's ring. Or, so we are really damn close to, uh, uh, oh, really? We are really close to Andre, so we could easily just, we could probably, it'd probably take us less time to get to him and level up our longsword. Oh, that's odd. It hasn't played like the parry sound the last couple times. Actually, no, God, just when I had the thought I should shoot the undead that closes the gate with an arrow. Right when I think of that, of course, I see the gate going down. Oh, that was bad. Come on now. And we're gonna... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's not safe yet. Wondering if I should show you guys the uh, alluring skull or try to get that uh, special animation. Um, well, he's not going to come over here and that would take... <sighs> Way too much time, I'm sure, to try to get him in a place where we could do that special dropping animation. So instead, <clears throat> we will use one of the cooler items in the game. And then maybe, if he stops freaking out, that was it. I thought they lasted way longer than that. He's not f okay. No, god damn it. This could be bad. Come on, let me shove my fist up your ass. Just let me. No, nothing. I got you here. I might as well do the thing. Would you stop it? And get off these stairs. Oh my god, this game.
All right. There we go. That's what everybody wants to see. Ooh, Fangbor Helm. Nice. Very nice. This is one of his, like... I'm, I swear it's a rare drop, because, like, I never see it. Uh, severed head of the fully armored Fangbor. If it's a severed head, so you're just shoving your head up as, like, esophagus or something? Severed head of the fully armored Fangbor, taken by one... The one who killed it as proof of his victory, just as the gods once did with the head of the ancient dragon can be worn on the head as a surprisingly sound piece of protective gear. And I think my first playthrough I actually got this uh, headpiece and I was wearing it with the uh, I believe the knights knights set because I think I went with a knight my first time through and I wore that all the way to Duke's archives. It feels like I'm a predator. <laughs> I can't do the noise. Dun 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 dun. Please don't copyright strike this video for stealing your song. And these guys, they got to be such sneaky little slim jim men. They try to get you to run into the room to chase them and then naturally there's on the other side nope there is a guy waiting for you somewhere maybe not we must have killed him already that was a dumb move take your time quit being a spaz yeah you too quit being a spaz God, this head with the armor, I just can't... I just can't do it. But it's really good armor, though. I always think this says Master Key. I don't know why it's Mystery Key. Actually, we need to read that, too. Uh, mystery Key. The purpose of this key is unknown. It appears to be a basic prison cell key. And that's an NPC we'll meet later. Which, that's this whole part with the mystery key and letting out Lawtrick is completely irrelevant. You don't even have to do it. It'll still get out and get into Firelink and kill Anastasia if you, like, don't do anything. So I don't even understand what the point of it is. Probably just to get that copper coin or something, which I suppose if you're playing some kind of... God, this helmet just looks so dumb. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Ugh, it's like bacon pig. I am pig man. <laughs> Take it off. Please. There we go. Oh, I can't sit Indian style anymore. I'm getting too old. You know what? This is bad news bears, actually. So we don't have any healing. And I desperately, desperately need to use the restroom. Oh, what a good extended shake session after that piss. I feel like a new man. I swear this fog door is brighter than all the other ones. Should we risk it? I think we should. Actually, we could probably pop a humanity to be safe. And even though we don't look good in it, we should still wear this just for safety's sake. Not like it's going to help much. We can just sneak up on him and get in our backstab. Should be able to charge our two. A whiff into a parry. That's some fighting game strats. And this shield here, 
Yes, I know, it's the noob shield. However, this medium metal shield is elegantly carved and painted, although it... <sighs> although it... Th although it is thought to, <laughs> to have been used by ancient knights of nobility, its defense capabilities are similar to other shields. But it's uh, superior um, to the... It's in superior to the hollow soldier shield. <clears throat> so he won't be using it. I could have swore that was a better shield. It wasn't even lighter. It was just all in, in general a worse shield. All right, come on. God, this is scary. Why are we doing this? Should we burn a hu burn a bad one first? A little bit of added security, and maybe throw on a. Throw in a firebomb or two. If we can move slow enough. No, wait. He's facing toward us when we come around that corner, isn't he? Peep. Boop. But we got the spear guy. Hopefully he'll just slowly meander in here. Come on. Be a good little boy. Good little boys come when I tell them to. Come on. Ow! That wasn't very nice. All right. Can we get a lock on? Yes. Even though he just blocked all our shit. Still. Ooh, Balderhelm. More reading. Everyone's favorite. Helm worn by the knights of the ancient kingdom of Baldur. It is made of the thick iron plates. It is made from thick iron plates. Baldur was the homeland of the knight Rendal. Rendal? But it came to ruin after a great many undead were spawned. I think this is a reference to, uh, like, Baldur. He's like a Scandinavian... Uh, Norse mythology god and Rendell sounds a lot like Grendel which is part of the Beowulf and Grendel story god it looks so stupid why would you have that oh that's like the the front put up in the back I get it anyway it still looks dumb to me yeah, Grendel, Beowulf, I'm sure everyone knows, like, that whole thing, and it's a way to get around copyright, but, uh, they're, with Eastern-style storytelling, they, they're a big fan of, like, metaphor and, uh, feelings, like, the same, just because the names are changed, you still get the idea, because, like, it's familiar enough to where you can associate it with the uh, Beowulf and Grundle. Isn't a Grundle a taint? The Beowulf and Grundle story. Oh, God. Can we get by? Those assholes. We, is, we can just get to Andre. And I think we should be fine, because as long as we don't get killed by these three hollows we should be in the clear and we can't be invaded because we're not human let's not try to parry how about that let's try to be safe
Would you stop freaking out? And let me shove my short sword, my long sword, in your back door. Parry spot. Your back stab spot. There. I feel accomplished. And I wonder, we need the right of kindling in order to kindle bonfires. Right? That, or is that, no, the right of kindling is to make it more than plus, <sighs> yeah, make it more than plus five, I believe. I believe. And this fire, since we're going to be coming back to it so often, I feel a kindle or two. We'll go with two. Because I don't think we can do it any further than that. Hooray! Ten Estus. Look at his... Look at how just... Mmm! That man! One thing really interesting that I've always thought really weird about him, and I have a, a story about him after this dialogue that's kind of funny, but when he talks, it looks like he plants his hands on the anvil and then, like, dislocates one of his shoulders. It looks really bizarre to me. Anyway. Well, you must be a new arrival. I'm Andre of Astora. If they require smithing, then speak to me. Most weapons and armor are mighty sturdy indeed, but every hunk of metal has its breaking point. If you notice durability running low, it's time to repair. You can ask a blacksmith like myself, or do it on your own with a grindstone. The nice thing about weapons, they never betray you, so pay them a little respect. Two types of weapon forging. There's reinforcement and there's ascension. Reinforcement is simple. It strengthens the weapon and nothing more. A simple task for any blacksmith. Hell, you could even do it yourself with a smith box. But ascension's a finer art. It alters a weapon's properties. Ascension is the territory of we blacksmiths. A smith box just won't do the trick. Start out with reinforcement. When that loses its charm, you can consider a censure. As you've noticed, this land is flush with the mad and wicked. You won't make it through the night without employing my services. <laughs> you can forge armor just like you do weapons. Forging armor is even easier than forging weapons. Whether you forge weapons or armor first, well, that's up to you. But nobody wants to see you go hollow. So whatever you do, you'd better do it well. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, we got a gesture to learn from him. Hoorah! And, um... My funny story. Hmm, we'll go weapon, long sword. Yes. Can we get it to plus two? Yeah. Cool. And we got enough uh enough to buy some Titanite shards. We'll buy Uh that should give us some we'll buy three. Get our sword up to plus three. Excellent. Uh, I don't like our... We should probably do our uh, bow, too, because we're going to be using this quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, the uh, story. If I can, for the life of me, remember what that was. 
Probably buy some standard arrows too. That's a lot, but okay. When I first played this game, I was mid listening to his dialogue and I was standing about right here and I had put my uh, controller on my lap and I use a Xbox 360 pad because I play on PC and stuff and the DS as I prefer the DualShock 4 but it's just a pain in the ass getting that thing working but anyway I it had the controller had slid off my lap and I ended up like pulling the right trigger and hit him for damage and he got really really pissy with me so until I discovered that you could request absolution from an NPC up in that tower up there uh, I went the game up until probably maybe Oh, let me think if I can... Jesus Christ! If I can remember. Probably laid into Blight Town. Maybe the depths somewhere. Before I discovered that I could get that NPC back and actually upgrade my stuff. So this game was like tears for me with like an unupgraded weapon the whole time. I remember fighting the gaping dragon with like an un unleveled up weapon and just thought like why is this game so fucking hard? Like, yeah. And I just want to see what's next. We better not get invaded. Cuz you know this area like it's Are we- is that a cheese spot? That's a cheese spot. No! Mm, that was dumb. Alright, let's get back here. No! Stop it. Uh... Shit, what was I gonna say? It was relevant to something. Oh, I was gonna show you that you can parry this guy, but you can't actually... Do the actual parry. What was I saying? Something about going the whole game, or going like a big chunk of the game with out having a level up. This guy is an asshole. These are Seath's uh, channelers, and basically. Uh, the dragon in the beginning, Seath the Scaleless, he, uh, he's blind and he can't see, so his channelers wear masks that are, uh, covered in eyeballs, and, uh, the lore is that they, anything that those channelers look at, Seath can see through some kind of enchantment or whatever on the helmet. Go to Firelink here. We're not going to jump off because we're going to be busy reading. The... where is it? What am I looking for? The Firekeeper's soul. Where the hell is it? Is it in the... there we go. Soul of a long lost Firekeeper. Each Firekeeper is a corporeal manifestation of her bonfire and a draw for the humanity which is offered to her. Her soul's her soul is gnawed by infinite humanity and can boost the power of precious Estus flasks. It can be used to gain humanity and restore HP at the cost of losing the Firekeeper's soul to reinforce the Estus flask. That just seems really dumb to use it to heal. But whatever. And basically... Yeah, that's fairly good lore on like the uh, fire keepers like infinite humanity like writhing around under like their skin it was kind of like that in Bloodborne there was like some uh what was her name Yosefka Yosefka 
when she got taken by the, uh... Trying to think. And basically, what we just did was level up our SS flask to plus one. You can see the little plus one down there. That wasn't there before. We used that Firekeeper's soul. Uh, wait a minute. Does this guy have any new dialogue? Does Ass Face have any new? Don't you ever think to forge your weapons? I got a plus three you sword, bitch. Find a smith box soon, unless you enjoy swinging about with blunt instruments. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But yeah, writhing, writhing around inside of her. Just wiggling all around in there. Did we talk to Haircut yet? No. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Hmm. I bet you'd like that. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh boy. A shiny penny. Oh my. You again. Oh, I know. How about this? I have to await my companions here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? Um, I suppose. I mean, I'm not planning on. Very well. Then first, a covenant with the gods. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I love that noise. Now, let me share my miracle. Only their ultimate effectiveness will be determined by your efforts and your faith. This guy's an asshole. <clears throat> However, he does have a gesture that's fairly ubiquitous in the Come again. PvP the use. Effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. Oh, I just gotta roll through these really quick. Oh yeah. Come on. That's what daddy likes. Come on. Okay. This is a really interesting character. He's got a lot of, uh... This game used to be completely different as far as what the NPCs did and what their roles were in the lore or story behind, like, those NPCs. And this guy has a lot of cut content. And with what they left you with that they didn't cut is almost completely useless. He's essentially just a... Uh, uh, we're not going to jump through there. We can jump through there, but we're not going to do it. Uh, almost completely useless. He, um... Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I really... <sighs> the Dark Souls games and the NPCs and how you have to use a lot of your imagination to even remotely flesh them out for yourself. Oh, really? Come on. Like, he was originally going to be, like, found in a boss room, getting experimented on. And he originally had a lot more dialogue, and there's, like, another NPC in the Anorlando ruins that was having a, a big, big wet beef with him. Please drop the rapier. Don't plan on using it. Oh. And those, these guys, the Balder Knight, Knights drop like a weapon that we will not be using under any circumstances. Under any circumstances. Sick of that Balder side sword. 
God, that sounds so cool. Oh. I'm wondering. Nope, doesn't tell us what we need to level up. I'm thinking about using some of our soul, stupid soul items to uh, pump up our sword as much as we can get it before the large Titanite shard just to make our gargoyle fight, uh, our, our Havel fight as trivial as we can possibly make it. I don't think it's ever trivial, but... I just don't want to be down there all night, you know, jamming him in the in the back in his backside. Well, hello again. Uh, we need one more to get it to plus four. We'll go ahead and buy that and reinforce it to plus four. And then we need three more to get it to plus five, which I don't think we can afford. Okay, so we need 800 get souls. Of us want to see you go yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, we can't. We got to use them this way, don't we? Because it's the original, the OG. This will give us 1,000? 800. Close enough. Well. We gotta buy one more. So we have two. So now we have three, and we can have a plus five long sword. Don't get yourself killed. Now we go back to Havel. Actually, let's uh do that. If you can't tell, I'm not looking forward to this. Is that... Actually, there's usually a developer message up here. Or no, wait, that one's up on the podium, which is odd because I'm human or unhollowed. You'd think they would... God, look at his ankles when he runs. They're just <laughs> like he has flimsy springs for ankle bones. No, don't stab me in the back. And we're just going to boogie. We're going to boogie-woogie all night long. Get out of here. Isn't the halberd over here? Yes, here. Which will be a weapon we'll read later. We might actually use the halberd. Not sure, though. Yikes. Yikes. Probably try for that knight again. The Black Knight Greatsword Knight. Did those Balder Knights Okay, good. They're Leishan. No. Yep. Just get hit by two arrows and then that stab just happens to take away all the health I just drank. Come on. You're gonna die anyway. You might as well just let me do it. Alright, health up. I need to start thinking of what armor I want to level up. Oh, come on. You... You're tracking, sir. Is a mess. Ouch. No! Please don't f squash me flat. Yep. <clears throat> that move is so fucking dumb. Come on, one more. God. These...
Yes, yes. These guys, I swear to God, their attacks are intention. That move is very dangerous. Staggered just so. Ooh, a chunk. I wonder if we can see the dragon from here. You used to be able to see the dragon right here. Kind of hanging out on the, uh... <sighs> this turret here. But he's gone. Just, like, patched him out. But if I do remember right... There is some really weird glitch where you can still hit him, even though he's not physically there. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I'm likely remembering wrong. I just remember doing that once at some point, hitting noth something that wasn't there. If anybody happens to remember, let me know, because I'm not going to look it up. Oh, he's not even... Right, come on. No, we're attacking this man. This man. Yikes! That was risque. Havel, here we come. Here I come. I knew it! I heard him. I f knew I fucking heard him. I heard those wings go fluff. Floof. And what do you know? It's okay, though, because we got that shortcut open, so we can make him, make him screw off any time we want. Oh, sweet baby. Let me rest at the fire. Let me rest at the fire. All right. And I think this video is about at an hour. Hour and ten. So we can close out on a death montage of me fighting Havel. Just first, I gotta get there. No. Oh, stupid. We should have, uh, kindled that fire, but we're dumb, so. We don't get the added... God damn it. We don't get the added joys of having five extra Estus flasks. We have to suffer. Like lower class... The lower class citizens we are. Such a pain in the ass killing that crossbow archer up there every time. <clears throat> and I th think we're good to go. Are we... is this it? Yep. I'm gonna run up here just to be safe. Uh, 
And see you next time, kiddos. Let the montage begin. No, come on!